four-year-old with mild shortness of breath. Mom says she has a history of asthma. All right, you have your scenario. Let's go ahead and get started. Grab your tape or whatever your cheat sheet is. Always remember, red to the head and head to the heel. You can clearly see this little one falls into the white zone. And Scott, for your quick tip. So when it comes to asthma, beyond pulse oximeters, blood gases, and all the other fancy bells, whistles, and toys, in real life, some of the easiest ways to tell if this kid is sick or not sick, number one is just look at him. Number two, as you can imagine, is listen to him. And number three is simply talk to him. Because in between breaths, if they can carry on a five minute, very coherent conversation about SpongeBob, how are they? It's called just fine. Versus my favorite, completely different story. However, when you're trying to figure out in literally 10 seconds or less, how sick is this kid potentially going to be? What it really comes down to is just two simple questions. Number one, at triage or in the back of the rig, ask him, have you ever been admitted to the ICU? Clue number two is, have you ever been intubated for your asthma? Because think about it, if they answer yes to either of those two questions in less than 10 seconds, you now know this is not your everyday Weezer. <laughs>